Hey, so I'm gonna shoot this video out there. I'm dedicating this to my friend Melanie who inspired me to shoot these videos. So, I am out at the preserve at Skull Creek and I thought it might be good for us to take a walk. And while we're walking, maybe go over some stuff like how reality works. So, let's start with the facts on how it works because really all the other stuff that you have out there, none of it matters. Like once you have a certain playbook in your subconscious story, you're not gonna need anybody else's story. So as we take the walk through the woods here, slow down for a second and realize that your mantra is I am predicting my future. What I focus on, I get more of. The outer world is an artifact of my subconscious story. So, what that means is, when you're in the multiverse, like all this stuff that we're seeing here, all this stuff around here, take a good view, because it's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. So, there's an infinite number of these realities that are around here. So, it just boils down, so if you take all of your beliefs, and you put them together in one big story web in your subconscious, it's just like memorizing a song over and over and over like that is the story that you will tell yourself so most people let the outer world tell them what kind of story that is going to stick up here and when you do that then you're living someone else's dream someone else's vision board instead of your own dream or your own vision board so when you change your paradigm your group of beliefs it's exactly the same as turning to a different frequency within the hologram. So you have an infinite number of realities here. So let's walk down here and take a look. And then each one of the choices that we all make, it's those choices that land us in the experience we call the now. And this experience that we call now, it's eternal. There's never tomorrow, there's never yesterday, there's only right now, so existence is a light bulb. It's kind of interesting, I didn't realize there were two boats. There's one over there. It clearly got pushed over there during the hurricane. There's another one that sank. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that there's two sunken boats right here off the shore. So what are the things you gotta know? Well, it's really pretty easy. So since you predict your future, you know, what you focus on, you're gonna get. Have the eyes to see, all that kind of stuff. So here's how you do it. So you want to know how to manifest your best life, do you? <laughs> I hope you're ready for it. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your phone. You're going to use the video on your phone. And you are going to video yourself reminiscing about your greatest life. The one that's the most exciting. The one that's the most enjoyable. And as you're reminiscing about what that means to you, you're going to be recording that. 
record that with your phone. And what I want you to do when you record it with your phone is before you go to bed, each day, you're gonna make a collection of videos. And these videos are gonna be anything that excites you when it comes on your mind, video it. Say what it is and incorporate it into a five minute dictation where you are reminiscing in a speech to other people about how you put it all together. And then you ended up living exactly what you wanted to live and it was so beautiful and you were so excited and you realized that you enjoyed how you spent your time because that was the secret to life. And so before bed, you'll watch all those small videos that you took of yourself and you'll put them into one larger five minute video. And then that video that you have, you're gonna keep remaking that video, editing scenes in that video that you want better emotional experiences from. So take sectors of your life that are familiar but unwanted, make them unfamiliar and design yourself a new scene in the areas such as health, wealth, and relationships and how you want it to be. See it how you want it to be. See it already done, feel it already done visualize all that stuff and then make yourself an audio recording where you're like you know i remember for me if i was going to put it all in there it was about eight years ago and ended up having this revelation and the revelation that i had was that you're the one steering the ship called your life. And that's a good thing because since you're the only one that's in charge of it, and there is no outer world because you are in a hologram that is a single reality of light. And that single reality of light, which one of those infinite number of experiences you end up in depends on what you believe. And since 95% of your life is dictated by your subconscious and the subconscious is below consciousness so you don't know what's running down there it means that all of us have a story running on the autopilot that's making our life the way it is and so this video technique using your phone and the audios so you can use the voice recorder if you have an iPhone. You can use the video. Curly the birds think this is a great idea. So that's it. Everything that you do, everything you speak is in present tense because now is all there is. Otherwise, you're disempowered. And you're reminiscing about when it all happened and telling the story because you're so grateful. And it's that attitude of gratitude and using your best life and putting into a reminiscing story how it is your best life, the best possible experience, the most excitement that you could possibly have, your highest and best truth and purpose would be whatever your natural gift is because the things that we teach are the things we were gifted with, so we gift them to others. Everything you're looking for is always where you're not looking, so if you were lucky enough to find this video, you're one out of a 100,000 people that are in the right vibration, in the right holographic paradigm. To have this come across your experience we'll take a peek here look at this it's just absolutely unbelievable it's so beautiful
Yeah, it's beautiful. Step two. Remember your awareness, what you call yourself, your consciousness, it's an engine that runs. An engine's always running. So be careful what you put into it because you don't want it to run bad. That means information detox. That means you probably can't do it cold turkey. It's gonna take you a minute, but what you need to do is stay away from anything that has electricity running through it. Phones, TVs, internet, social platforms because it's the repetition and the focus that embed the self-image, what you believe yourself to be. And from that, your self-image and how you honor, respect, and revere yourself, that'll be how you put that story in your head. And so if you're allowing the outer world to instor, insert stories into your story, into your subconscious, and the subconscious is 95% of who you consider yourself. Only 5% of the mind, the conscious mind, makes a decision to go, I'm gonna turn the camera around. That's my 5% mind, it's like a five horsepower car. And then the subconscious is a 95 horsepower car. Well, which one's always gonna win a tug of war? So you gotta change the subconscious story, otherwise you're never gonna get where you wanna go. And that comes through you having emotions, beliefs, conviction, and the repetition of that story. As soon as you wake up in the morning and right before bedtime when you're most impressionable because you're in the theta wave state. When you're in theta, you can just drop stuff in, download it, it'll go right in your consciousness and everything becomes super easy. It's how you get a photographic memory. But in order to get, remember, all of this stuff is designed to get you in a state of consciousness so that you can continuously focus on the dream that you're building from the gift you were given, which allows you to do your purpose. How do you find out what's in your story? Like you have to remove the stuff that shouldn't have happened and then you have to install the stuff that should have happened, right? So how do you do that? Well, the way you get the stuff out is you go back and you reverse the charge. So we take people back, past lives, past relationships, Go back to when they're younger, smaller, lighter. And you go back to that experience when you first felt the way that you didn't want to feel, the way that you're feeling right now. And the first time that you came across that feeling was when you were how old? Where were you? Was it day or night? What was going on? How did it feel to you? and then tell yourself what you've waited your whole life to hear, the information that allows you to let go of that negative polarity and replace it with a positive polarity because now that you've assigned a silver lining to an event that formerly you deemed and categorized as a negative event is now what propelled you to your positive replacement experience for that particular scene of your movie, which you call your day that you're experiencing. So once we remove the unwanted, the information detox allows people to basically dissolve all the stuff that doesn't work for them out of their consciousness so it's no longer familiar. And when it's not familiar anymore and you're not focusing on it, it'll disappear from the experience for you. And make sure that you do these changes and everything. You can only change one major belief 
every six weeks, otherwise the mind gets confused. Your mind will do what you think it wants you to do based on the words and the images and the emotions that you have in your head and in your mind's eye. You know, people say, well, I can't visualize in my third eye. You can because if you're worried about something, then you've visualized, what if this goes wrong? Like, that's what it is. It's not necessarily you seeing it. And then once you've cleared out the stuff that's unwanted and you've deleted the stuff that no longer serves any purpose at all, then you replace it with repetition at the times you're suggestible morning and night so that the new story is put into your subconscious mind and then what happens is as you repeat listening to that to yourself you're going to start believing it more and more and then you're going to start thinking about it more and more and the next thing you know when the event happens it's going to move you closer to that you're going to go "Ooh, i need to say yes to this and so what you're doing is you are putting an entire story like loading a dvd into your consciousness and after you've watched that dvd enough times through the listening of either if you're doing a video, you can do a video, or if you're doing the audio, but it's a five, the five minute audio that you did. Because you always believe yourself the most, because you're not gonna game yourself. So if you do do this, it's self-hypnosis. This is the best way for you to like manifest your stuff. Do a vision board too and all that other stuff, and definitely the journaling. I'll cover those at another time, because you're pretty much journaling when you do this. You know, so at the end of the day, it's all about where you're placing your focus because the story that you have in your mind is going to be you predicting what's going to happen. So whatever story you're telling yourself, guess what? That's what you're going to predict for yourself. That's what you're going to experience. That's what you're going to co-create for yourself. That's what all this co-creation stuff everybody talks about is. So this stuff's like super easy, man. Like honestly, the keys of the world are in this video. And you know, people that care that you're saying stuff that they're not in alignment with, those really aren't your friends. And the, the true friends that you have, they won't care what you say because they're going to be like-minded. And that's how you attract your tribe and push away the non-serving or the people that are in another tribe. And that's it. That's how it goes. So, the only data being input into your consciousness daily is the stuff that you create for yourself to experience in your future. All the consuming of content is going to go away, except for about 30 minutes a day. It's the maximum wild time. And now that you have all of this free time to go and create this wonderful life, you realize that being abundance about creating content. So you go out and you shoot one long video all at once. And when you're done with that video, you can break it up into 20 or 30 different little small snippets and shorts and things that you can put out there for people. And that's how you'll attract the people to have the same mess that you had. And I had to learn all this stuff so I could reprogram myself because, you know, society, propaganda, the narrative, the black nobility, you know, the entities running the electricity in the things through the portals. So, remember your outer world is from the past. Don't let it dictate your future. Get in control of it. Focus on only what you want and don't focus on what you don't want. That's pretty much all I got for everybody today. Love you guys. Peace, enlightenment, joy, fulfillment, all those things. And just enjoy every second. You never know when you're not gonna be here again. It's just absolutely beautiful. If you want to get a hold of me and have me help you design your life or if you need some help on the business side of things, feel free to contact me at realityintervention.com. Have a blessed day 
and have a have your best life peace